Good morning, everybody. I heard about two guys that went out for a meal at a restaurant. They each ordered fish, and the waiter came out with the fish, and there were two pieces of fish on a platter for them. One was large and one was small. So one friend picked up the plate and he gave his friend the small fish and he kept for himself the big fish. <laughs> and the other friend said, well, what did you, what are you doing? And the guy goes, what? And he said, well, how come you gave me the small fish and you kept for yourself the big fish? And the guy says, well, what would you have done? The guy says, well, I would have given you the big fish and myself the small. And the guy says, well, what do you think I did? <laughs> <laughs> and they laughed about it. But, you know, that guy was being accused of being self-centered, of making sure that he had the big fish. A lot of us, we want to be the big fish. We want to be the center of attention. But as we see in Numbers chapter 2, God has an organization for our lives, that he is at the center of our lives, that he is Lord. Let's pick up the action. Numbers chapter 2. This is the arrangement of the tribal camps of Israel, and they are all arranged around the tabernacle with God at the center. So no matter who you are or where you are stationed, God should be at the center of your life. Numbers 2, the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, the Israelites are to camp around the tent of meeting some distance from it, each man under his standard with the banners of his family. On the east, toward the sunrise, the divisions of the camp of Judah are to encamp under their standard, and their standard was the lion. The leader of the people of Judah is Nashan, son of Amminadab, his division number 74,600. The next tribe with him was Issachar, and with Nethanel as their leader, his division number is 54,400. Then was the tribe of Zebulun, with the leader being Eliab, son of Helon. His division numbered 57,400. All the men assigned to the camp of Judah, according to their divisions, numbered 186,400. They will set out first. A couple things I want you to know about that. Number one, Judah is closest to the center. They are closest to God. And they're the ones that lead the camp of Israel out first. Secondly, God has appointed leadership over the tribes of Israel. I remember one time after a worship service where the lay people led the service, somebody came up to me and said, you know, maybe we should have this all the time. We don't really need a pastor. We don't really need a leader. We'll just have lay people do the service every week. And... I think about that once in a while when I read the Bible, because all through the Bible, God has appointed leaders to be over the people. We need leadership. We need guidance. We need direction. That's the, God put it in us that we ha have a desire to follow a leader or a, a need for guidance. And that's God's plan for order and organization. Verse 10, on the south will be the divisions of the camp of Reuben under their standard. The leader of the camp of Reuben is Eliezer, son of Shadur. His division numbered 46,500. Then the tribe of Simeon was mentioned next at 59,000. The tribe of Gad will be next. The leader of the people of Gad is Eliasath, son of Duel. His division was 45,000. All the people together, 151,450. And they set out second. So first was the camp of Judah, and then the second was the camp of Reuben. Another thing I want you to notice is that God doesn't do the organization based on the size of the group. In the eyes of God, big isn't always better. Blessed is better. Devoted to God is better. And so God has picked Judah because that's the tribe from where Messiah will come. That's the tribe from where Jesus will come. That's where all the kings will come. So God has chosen the kings of Judah. So God has chosen Judah to go first. Verse 17, then the tent of meeting and the camp of the Levites will set out in the middle of the camps. That is also a group that is closest to the tabernacle and closest to God. And they minister before the Lord always at the tent of meeting. Verse 18, on the west will be the divisions of the camp of Ephraim, the leader of Ephraim is 
Elishima, son of Amihud, his division number is 40,500. Then the tribe of Manasseh, together those two tribes make up the tribe of Joseph, that's 32,000. Tribe of Benjamin's there, 35,400, for a total of 108,100. God, the book of, is called Numbers for a reason, isn't it? God has numbered the people of Israel. He knows exactly which people are his, which people belong to him. And isn't that true today? I don't go around wondering who are the sheep and who are the goats, who are right with God and who are wrong with God. God knows those who are his, 2 Timothy 2.19. And we see that here in Numbers. The Lord knows those who are his. 25, on the north will be the divisions of the camp of Dan. And there's, it's, we know from another passage that their symbol is the eagle. The leader of the people of Dan is Ahiezer, son of Amishidai, his division number 62,000, and with him was the tribe of Asher and the tribe of Naphtali, altogether 157,600, and when you add up these groups of numbers, you have 603,550 Israelite men, but the Levites were not counted among the other Israelites because they don't go out with the army. They minister before the Lord at the tabernacle. So the Israelites did everything the Lord commanded Moses. That is the way they encamped under their standards, and that is the way they set out each with its clan and its family. And David Guzik had some interesting observations related to this passage that I wanted to share with you. He points out in his observations that there is a limit to what can be and what we can do for the Lord without order and organization. And two, nothing is accomplished in God's kingdom without order and organization. And three, God orders things according to his wisdom not ours. In the arrangement of the tribes, he didn't place the largest tribes closest to the tabernacle, as if bigger was always better. Ephraim is the closest westward tribe, and they're the third smallest tribe. Four, our resistance to God's order and organization is almost always because of selfishness. Like the friend at the table who gave himself the big fish and gave, reserved the little fish for his friend. Whenever we want to go against God, it's because we want the big fish for ourselves. We want our lives to be done in our own way and be centered on ourselves rather than God. And then the next point, everyone was positioned in relation to the presence of God. God could have described where the tribe of Judah was in relation to Dan and where Dan was in relation to Ephraim. He chose not to do that. They were positioned in relation to where God was at the center. Another point, it is hard to underestimate the trouble we get into in our walk with God when we position and measure ourselves in reference to other people. Well, it's actually the same point. So, God's order is never arbitrary or just made up on a whim. It is after his heavenly pattern. Another thing I wanted to point out, that the tribe of Israel camped around four banners, which was said to be a lion, a man, a calf, and an eagle. You go to Revelation 4, verse 7, and the, they have four living creatures. The first creature was like a lion, the second like a calf, the third like a, a man, and the fourth had an image like a flying eagle. So each of the living creatures represents the people of God before God. So is your life centered around God? Are you more concerned about how you look compared to other people? Or are you most concerned about where you are in relationship to your relationship with God? Put Jesus first. Live your life for an audience of one. Receive Christ as your Lord and Savior. Get into the Word of God. Get into some good Christian devotions. I know there's so many wonderful ones on YouTube and on Facebook, including hopefully this one. And you're welcome to worship with us at our church because you'll grow in your relationship with God there at Peace Seven Chuckle and Reformed Church in Potter, Wisconsin. And now... I'm getting ready to go to the Gospel Fest. We have Gospel Fest all weekend long. 
today and tomorrow. Come on, come on out and join us in Hilbert, Wisconsin. Jesus loves you. This I know, for the Bible tells me so. Bye for now. We'll see you guys Monday.